You know what I notice about trucking companies? When people go searching for trucking companies, they look online, usually on YouTube, try to look at reviews, see how, the, how other people do it. So, uh, I'm in night transportation right now. By the way, this is dinner. Two plates of Chinese food, one large pizza, two egg rolls. Finna dig in. Oh, and by the way, here's the hotel room. Two beds, no roommates. Nice hotel. Zoom out view. That's what it looks like in there. So a lot of people look online. Especially me. I saw Mr. Sinister, Mr. Sinister's video. That's why I'm up here. Uh, but I haven't seen any actual orientation videos. I've seen some, but it was mostly talking about the class. Nobody showed the hotel room or um, how they do things. Okay, so today is, uh, what's today? I think it's April 27th. Today is Monday, so I think it is April 27th. This is the hotel room. This is where I'm staying. I don't know. Maybe when you come up here, it may be different. You may be staying up here. I'm at the Whispering Woods Hotel, so this is where they got me staying. It could be totally different when you come. I'm not sure. Really nice hotel. Knight doesn't own this hotel. It's like a, a, a hotel with like actual guests and things like that. So it's not just some, it's, it's not like a motel. It's an actual hotel. I'm on the fourth floor. Got a balcony, by the way. By the way, this is the first hotel that I've seen that comes with a microwave and a refrigerator. I wish I would have uh, known it came with a refrigerator. I would have bought some drink. But uh, other than that. Oh, and by the way, a lot of places to order food. Let me show you. I arrived on Sunday at this hotel about 10 o'clock at night. They gave me this list of places to deliver. It's about three pages thick. Man, I was calling left and right. Man. Oh, yes, gotta eat. I'm not fat, by the way. Yeah, I'm real skinny. I'm only 180 pounds. That looks really good. I'm telling you, it's good. So, today was day one of orientation. What did we do? Uh, it was only seven people in the whole orientation class. We did the drug tests and the applications. I was back in my hotel room by two o'clock. I had the whole day to myself in my hotel room. Comes with cable, Wi-Fi, everything I need. I've been chilling here ever since. Everything I need was right here. Uh, really fun, no problems. Very nice stuff. Other than that, by the way, I want to search like this. Uh, let me tell y'all something, man. So y'all don't, when, look, when you come to trucking companies, See, look, this is how I am, okay? I don't dress like this back at home, okay? I just, I just wear a plain shirt, some clothes. When I come to trucking companies, I, when I come to, uh, when I do like job interviews, I tend to change my clothes up and go with the more business approach. Look, when you come to trucking companies, just be yourself. You don't have to change your clothes, okay? You don't, yeah, I'm, I know I did it, but I'm different, okay? You don't have to do it. I'm letting you know now. Just be yourself, okay? Just be yourself. Cause you never know, man. You might, you might uh, end up going back home. One person went home today, not because it, it was because of um, a physical issue where they couldn't pass the DOT physical. Cause I believe he was overweight. He, he was like 390 pounds, so uh, he has he has to go back home and uh, I guess lose weight. I guess, but uh. I mean, they pay for him to go back home. You know, they pay for him to come, pay for him to come back home. They told me he can come back at any time. Um, he just got past the DLT physical and he'll be out straight. No biggies, no problems. You know, some a nutritionist and a power lifter. I can tell you he can lose weight super fast. Uh, but other than that, let me show you how to pack. A lot of people just do not know how to pack. Move some things around right quick. 
All right, this is my bag. Here's it. It's a customized bag now. It's a book bag, okay? See? Carry it around your back. It's right here. I'm gonna show you how much clothes I got, okay? Everything I need as far as uh, restroom rides, you know, I take it with you. Hey, make sure y'all get some baby wipes. Let me tell you why, okay? When you are uh, out on the road, you know, you only take showers every uh, few days. It just depends on your trainer. Okay, bring baby wipes or a hand sanitizer, you know, plain and simple. The toothpaste, you know, if you want to like brush your teeth inside of gas stations, which is totally cool. Otherwise, you'll, the only time you'll be brushing your teeth is, uh, you know, in the hotel rooms. I brought mouthwash. Yeah, I'm not advocating you do this because it's probably against the rules. Me, sometimes I get sick, so, you know. I bring cough medicine and ibuprofen. That way I don't have to, like, if I get sick, I don't have to, like, go back home or go to a doctor or let it get worse. Uh, make sure you don't have any alcohol, by the way. Some trucking companies, like Prime, you can't have, like, alcohol, so those don't have alcohol. But other than that, back to the packing part. I got my socks. Uh, I got all the shirts I need. I got plenty of shorts. Got about five pairs of shorts here. By the way, it looks really small. It's right here. Try to guess how much it costs. Okay. It was $120. ebass.com. I believe it's the website. It fits everything, man. Okay. One pair of pants, two pair of pants. Got my cargo shorts right there. See, see what I tell you about the uh, chains? Okay. Can we get in there? One, two, three, four, five. It's five pairs of shirt. I got this shirt on. I got the shirt hurt hanging back there. Here's another shirt. Uh, six, seven. This makes eight. That shirt over there makes nine shirts. That's one pair of cargos. Two pair of cargos. When I say cargos, I mean cargo shorts. Three pair of cargo shirt, shorts. Uh, as far as shorts go, it's one pair of shorts. Two pairs, three pairs. A ton of socks. Got my belts. I got my gloves. I don't know if you need gloves, but I got mines. I got one hat. I got my, see, I got, I got it strapped up, but all these are here slots. It's about 10 pair of slots. And, uh, just in case, you could bring an extra bag. This bag right here, it was empty, but, uh, oh, I carry my, uh, school supplies in it when I go to class. But the only reason I got this bag is for... When you gotta wash your clothes, you want you want to have something to put your dirty clothes in. You don't want to like uh, keep your dirty clothes with your with your clean clothes. So that's that's what that, that's the purpose of that bag. But when I brought it, it was empty. Now, as far as the truck go, uh, I didn't bring a pillow or anything, no cover or anything, because I'm just gonna buy that at Walmart when it's time. And that's how I solved that problem. By the way, another pair of pants. Hmm, you know what? Still got more clothes. Got these pair of pants. Uh, got a jacket right here. Gotta have a jacket, man. Y'all come right now. It's hurricane season. I'm not saying that we're gonna be driving to hurricanes or tornadoes. That's just the season. Make sure you bring a jacket around this time. Me, I can't one pair of shoes. You know. Some people bring boots, I just brought, you know, one regular pair of shoes. That's all you need. I brought black, it goes with everything. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I believe that is all. Just in case I get like sprained or I hurt myself, I brought Icy Hut. It will solve any issues. Now, so you won't have a problem I suggest not coming to any trucking companies broke. I mean, I see it all the time. 
I don't know why people do it. Me, personally, I bring $1,000 or more. So I'm in cash, mostly on the debit card. Uh-oh. Mostly I bring my debit card. And that's so I can, like, man, I can enjoy myself, okay? But other than that, why do you want to bring cash? Okay. Okay, you know over at Prime, they give you the advances, right? It's $200 advance a week. Okay. The advance is for four weeks. And uh, the advance is, is basically you're not getting paid whatsoever. they just letting you borrow money out of your first check. And you're going to pay it all back. Now, here at night, uh, it's the same way as Prime, except it's not a cash advance. It's your first check. So today is Monday. I'm not sure when we get paid. If it's like Prime, maybe we get paid Thursday. I'm not sure how much it is. Uh, I'm going to take a random guess and say $300. Uh, it's not a cash advance. That's your first check. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure nothing comes out. Like for me, the school, that's not going to come out until um, I become a solo driver. And then I believe it comes out at $50 or $25. I'm not sure. But other than that, make sure you bring money, man. And make sure you don't get jacked and robbed at the bus station. One guy came up here. Uh, he lost his bag at the bus station. He had all his stuff in it. Don't get jacked and robbed at the bus station. It's horrible, man. Me, I took the bus. Like, I don't have no problems riding the bus. I took the bus from Nashville to Memphis. It was only, uh, I think it was two or three hours. No problems whatsoever. But some people, you know, they travel a very long distance. By the way, at night, you don't have to take the bus. You can take the, uh, you can drive or you can take the airplane. The shuttle runs to all three. Some people took the airplane here. I'm not sure where it was coming from. But I believe they will reimburse you for whichever route you go. But of course, the bus ride is free. But other than that, <laughs> Making sure I didn't leave nothing out. All right, so recap. Day one, drug test, and paperwork. I say in all, it took about, it took about, um, probably about three hours to complete. Uh, the only reason it took so long, well, it didn't take long. I mean, was, you're not waiting, really. But uh, they don't do the drug test here. You have to catch the shuttle. Uh, go down to the um, little chiropractor place, and that's where you'll get it done. And then, you know, you'll catch the shuttle back. And by the way, they don't, another thing is, okay, they don't do orientation at the hotel. So you don't want to end up like me. You know, my paper said the orientation was at 7.30 a.m., right? I woke up at 6.30, got down to the lobby. It was about 6.50. Uh, I asked the hotel staff, I was like, hey, where's the orientation at? They didn't know what I was talking about. No idea. I mean, I mean, they have nothing to do at night. They had no idea what I was talking about. So I tried to call my recruiter. Uh, no answer. But I think that was because uh, it was early in the morning. Uh, but luckily, somebody from somebody else that was looking for orientation, they came down. And they had paperwork. But their paperwork was different. My paperwork said orientation started at 730 they paperwork said a shuttle will be here at 7.45 to pick us up, and orientation started at 8.30 a.m. So we asked, was there a shuttle coming at 7.45? They said, yeah, it is. A shuttle that runs. So luckily, I didn't miss orientation. That would have been hard to explain, right? But uh, actually, it would have been all right if I missed orientation. I would have just called another shuttle. I would have got up there. You know, it's no biggie. I know at some trucking companies like Prime, uh, it, it's pretty much outlined. If you miss, like, if you just two minutes late, you're going back home. I don't know why they do that. I have no idea. What a waste of money, right? To send somebody all the way to a hotel room just to send them back home. They don't get discounts on that uh, Greyhound. I've seen the tickets, ticket price. They might get discounts. I don't know. Whatever it is, it is okay. You got to pay. Oh, by the way, these are two pair of pants, not one. Some people bring a uh, duffel bag, but uh, the moral of the story is, you know, this is all I got to carry. It's 
one bag is not heavy at all. Not heavy, just one bag. I could have just brought this. Okay, I would have been straight. And I could have just uh, like put my dirty clothes in like a plastic bag or something. But instead, I brought that one. You know, it's real light. So I don't even know what I got in it. Oh, my school supplies, that's right. See, here's the paperwork. I'll just pull this sheet out. See, Squire Transportation. That's who's paying you. And uh, other than that, I'm finna dig in. Deuces.